going on YouTube. Just want to show you my 99 Durango. Got my zero gauge running, full sides to my isolator relay at 200 amp. Um, got a little shitty 90 amp alternator. Um, running the Kenwood head unit. The X693. Got about a year ago. I like it a lot except for the glare. There's a lot of glare on this plastic, how they how they made it. But besides that, it's definitely a night rider. It looks really good at night. But during the you know afternoon times, the glare can be a problem. But besides that, that's the only negative I have on this head unit. Sounds really good. Um, just got the basic Pioneer cut axles, just to upgrade from the stock ones that came with it. Um, they sound really nice, especially when I hooked up this this JLA amplifier, the J2320. Um, it's 60 times 4 at 4 ohm. I'm running about like you can't really see from here, but I'm running like what 30 percent, 40 percent. So I'm running like 25, 30 watts to my door speakers per channel, which is pretty much max. And it sounds really good. No distortion. Never play distortion. It's bad. Um, I got the Kinetic HC1800, 80 amps an hour. As you can see, I got aught gauge on both sides running all the way back to my battery and to my frame on both sides back there. Um, Crossfire 1000D, about 1000 RMS at 12.5 volts. So I'm probably pushing more like 1300 at 1 ohm. But the speakers are 2 ohm, but they're actually 2.7 ohm, and when I wired them, they only dropped down to 1.7 ohm. So, I'm running 1.7 ohm DC resistance. Um, it's pretty loud. I'm probably only pushing like 300 watts max to each speaker. Um, I got the, the JL wire 8 gauge running direct to the speakers. I got the, the JL RCAs. Um, and I got the BMS here. They're the two or eight ohm speakers. I got them running at two ohm, but they're actually two point seven ohm. Uh, zoom out here. They're fifteens. I got two of them in a four foot sealed box. Um, I'm going to upgrade to a sixteen foot cubic box ported. Um, 10 to some, I don't know, 40 hertz, 35 hertz, somewhere around there. Um, I listen to a lot of, you know, South Rap and Trance. So definitely the long throws. I got 15s for a reason. Um, but yeah, that's my basic setup. You know, I'm hitting. A lot of people are trying to make movies to show you how loud their car is. Um, you can't really tell on movies. I like to see setups, and that's how you can really tell on how loud it is. Um, I'm hitting about 150 dB. Um, uh, yeah, my friend will be cruising over here shortly and uh, be showing you his system. He has two dB 15s to 3500s, and he's hitting about 152. And so, just based on the speakers, and the he has a box that's twice as big and corded. So there's the two decibels right there. Um, yeah, I got the crossfires, crossfire amps, JL. Wired it all myself. Popped all the plastic trims out. Looks pretty clean, I don't have to say. How it all runs out right here. I want to get a wiring track thing to where it hides all these wires. But, uh, you know, considering, you know, a battery back here, two amps, and speakers, there's not too much wiring. I know Steve Meads would be laughing, but. I did it with my first install really. Got my base knob. Um so yeah, I did everything myself. Hitting around one fifty P B. You know, tell me how you like it. Uh, what I should do differently maybe. Taking considerations. I always want to be upgrading. This is my hobby. Alright, well add me.